Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Here on another episode of Eli and Mike. Right. <laughs> and we have an amazing guest here for you guys today. And we have the amazing Tommy Tambui here with us. What's yes. up, guys? I'm really glad and honored to be a guest here on your podcast. And Thank excited you. to you know, just open up with you guys and tell you guys what I know. Love thank it, you, love man. it. Thank We're you. so excited to have you here with us as well. Thank you, thank you. I think you said um, you're driving from the Anaheim area. Yeah, like, okay. an, like an hour, not that far. Right, no. There you go, there you go. So so it, um, are you, um, <laughs> you know, do you love, do you like this area, the Beverly Hills area, Rodeo? Yes, I love it. Yeah. Like, I mean, ever since I was a kid, when I was 18 years old, yeah. I, it feels like liberating because I was always like stuck in OC. Like a lot of people are always like, you know, they grow up, they don't really go to LA. Right. So the fact is like for me, I'm like, I'm living my dream and now like driving up to LA a lot. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I, yeah. I, love yeah. That. I remember like just driving through like Sunset Boulevard with my mm -hmm. friends and now I'm like, wow, it's, it's like, it's my reality. now. like yeah. I actually drive. Definitely, you definitely. know, like they're yeah. back and forth. Right, yeah. right. Sunset is an amazing street in, you know, California, one of the most popular and then Rodeo. And, you know, it's so amazing that, you know, all of us get to be here together in these, uh, you know, I think these um, cities are like really like yeah. um, energy driven, right? Yeah, you feel it. You feel, yeah, I feel you the energy. Feel it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I'm just so happy that we get to be with here with you today. So amazing. So amazing. And, and considering, you know, you're, you're, you look very young, obviously you are young. I would think you're in 21, 22. Yeah, can we ask your age? I mean, can no, we ask your age? No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm oh, not. Hey, hey, hey. for that too? I'm 26. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, got yeah. it. Okay. What's going 26, on here? 26, you guys, 26. Yeah, okay, I mean, skin routine, happiness. Um... Yeah, I, I, mm -hmm. I mean, I've been taking care of my skin recently. Yeah. Okay. I recently got a facial for the first time. I went okay. to Omni Skin in Pasadena. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, did great. Micro needling. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Um, but yeah, I've been on a skincare routine right. with um, in Empress. Mm -hmm. You know that that and so um, Sephora. Oh yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. Right. Yeah, got yeah. It. right. yeah we've it. we've actually done some mm -hmm. micro needling ourselves. I mean, it's so important right. to take care of your skin right yeah. now, especially with. I mean, everybody tries to look beautiful. Everybody tries to yeah, be a right. little bit more than they should be. Because obviously with all the mm -hmm. genetical things that people can get into, it's so important to look the best you can because before you know it, you're like, oh my God, what happened to my skin? That's right. why there's Botox and stuff like that. So it's important. Yes. And it's it's mm -hmm. so cool that you're doing it at a young age. Right. Because that's actually what, what we've heard mm -hmm. is the best time to get it done at is when you're younger. Yeah. So that when you're older, it just, it never looked like you had work done. Right, you get what right. I'm saying? Because yeah, I yeah. think a lot of the reasons people do fillers and stuff and lift their face and stuff is because they never did all the pre-preventive work yeah. before right. when they had the chance. I mean, I'm 45. So to me, I you feel like... Good. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Well, has, you guys right. have really good... Thank you. Yeah. I'm 33. Well, he's 33. I'm 33. So he's, yeah. he's a lot younger. I was like, but, I don't want to be in that range yeah. yet. I don't want to be that range. Yeah. But but we do do that because we care and value a lot about our skin. So it's, it's nice to hear that from you, especially yeah. knowing that you're 26, that someone like your age is actually already taking care of their body and their mind and everything versus just like, I don't give a shit. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. So we have you sitting here with us today. Um, you know, millions of followers, millions of views. It's millions. so inspiring. Um, but before we get into all of that, I would love to go back to, you know, maybe when you were a little bit younger, I know, you know, we, we've, we've been following you, we've been on your page. And one thing that we saw yeah. is that, you know, you were um, in, in sports, you were in football. So, yeah. um, but on that post, you literally state how like skinny you are. And obviously today, you know, <laughs> Um, with yeah. all the the gains you have, you know, feeling fit, inspiring us with your fitness. Yeah. Um, you know, what were you going through back then when you were in, you know, sports and, you know, being somebody who wasn't as fit as you are today? Um, you know, how how is that part of your life? You know, it comes up, like you said, the skin routine, right? Like uh -huh. if you don't take care of it sooner, it's, you know. So for me, it was like I was bullied. Like oh, So really? everybody has to have like a drive wow. to want to work on their skin. right? Okay. So for me, it was like I was like a loner in elementary school. No one wanted to be friends with me. So oh. I want to find us like, everyone is like that. I, the thing is a solution, right? Like yeah. I want to find a solution on what can I do to like fit in and become popular. Right. And right. Like, that was sports and okay. sports from there was how I like. Got it. So then yeah. you were bullied and, you know, wow. sorry to hear that, but what is amazing um, is that you, you put your foot forward and you're like, I'm not going to let this happen. Let me find a way to, you know, bring myself out of my shell. Yeah. And so then that was sports. When did you um start sports? I started elementary school. Was like, you know, like mm -hmm. like yeah. kids. We used to like <laughs> play like recess break, uh -huh. um, you know, soccer and all that. Just yeah. I just did that with like with the kids in okay. elementary, just just to Love fit it. in. Love it. Wow. And um, yeah, wow. from there, just like it, wow. funny thing is, my bully ended up being my best friend. No of course, way. and he was like my inspiration because like everyone like looked up to him. He was like the class clown, and. Yeah, he one day I I just like started playing sports with him uh -huh. 
third grade. So we became like really good friends after that. Like he ended up like sticking up for me. And wow. um, I was still like always the last pick because I was unathletic. But that was like the drive for me to like, I want to improve. I want to be better. At least Uh, you tried it though. I mean, it's it's so difficult to be in sports. I remember being in baseball when I was in elementary. And that's when I started baseball. And I'm like, it just, I liked it. But at the same time, I was also bullied. So I can share your story with the fact that it's very difficult, especially with your self-esteem. When you're trying to do something, you got somebody else kind of raining down your parade. But it's Mm -hmm. the same thing happened. Like I became friends again with that individual later on in time. So So it's crazy how the stories and things change as we get older. Like you become like, you're Tommy Tambui now, and it's a lot different of a storybook that we're reading compared right. to when you were in elementary dealing with yeah. very emotional situations, you know? Right. And, yeah. and your upbringing, are you an uh, only child? Do you have brothers and sisters? <laughs> I have an older sister. Okay, an older I mean, I mean, sister. I'm a younger, younger sister. Okay. <laughs> younger sister. Right, right. Younger, younger sister. You want, sorry. The, you want to be the younger one, that's why. Right, right. <laughs> hey, sorry. He just said you need skin the thing, the thing is, like, sometimes, like, when you're like, the oldest, yeah. you're, you're the one that has the most responsibility. <laughs> exactly. True, okay, true. so she don't need skin routine, right? <laughs> I mean, she's she's doing really good for herself. Right? Okay, I mean, good, I mean, good. Shout out to sister. Shout, shout out to sister. sister. Um, but yeah, and then your parents, you know, how, how was your upbringing bringing with um, your parents? Were you close with them? Honestly, it's like, I've, kind of difficult family situation like my mom my dad and my parents are separated oh, um, sorry to hear mom that. was the one that's like took care of me the most my dad was like not really around a lot got so it's it. just like my mom was the one that like took care got it got of it. my so, sister and i yeah. there you go so kind of um, wow. um up, an upbringing um with your mom being the one the main yeah. got how, it, got how do you it. feel if you don't mind me asking how do you feel that impacts you because I, I i'm a divorced parent myself so my oh. kids i have a, I have my well we have our kids 100 percent of the time mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. the yeah. mom's not in their life as much right. however how do you feel on that side feeling that your dad's not present i mean just inspired like now i know mm-hmm. i'm the man of the house the responsibilities okay. you know okay. what i mean like I, I, I got i gotta be the one that's like eventually i want to help my mom like for the times that she helped help me mm-hmm. raise become the man i am today i want to be able to like you know buy her a dream house yes. at the beach you know wow. I, 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 I want to pay off the house you know yeah. so like my mom wow. you know like i wouldn't be able to be here right now become the man i am today become you know successful with social yes. media if my mom didn't support me right right so, love that yeah. love that wow, and you have that legacy i mean that's so so passionate because you know a lot of you know we care a lot of, a lot of the values of our parents too uh luckily we both have our parents but there's a lot of people that we've had on our podcast that share your story they don't have their yeah. mom or their dad or both uh, we actually had somebody that had them both passed away but mm. but it's yeah. it's it can it can definitely take a toll on you of how life when you brought up yourself to this point but yeah. you look very solid like you look like you're killing it right now and i, I feel yeah. like you're almost an right. immovable force do you feel that way inside yeah i i just know like you know, God is looking out for me. And for everyone who's watching, God is looking out for me. He all made you guys for a purpose and for a reason. I know that God is like, yes. he has like, I, I'm i on earth to do something that I got to do to right. like inspire and to yes. create and to, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. And, so, have, wow. and have you like always been into, you know, been a religious person since you were little or? Um, No. No. Okay. But my parents took me to like, catholic school right. to learn okay. vietnamese and okay. my parents are buddhist but i'm like the, i'm like the black okay. sheep in my family as okay. well okay okay so i just saw that god was working in my life mm-hmm. like he mm-hmm. connected me with people yeah to he put me in like hard situations which helped level me up made me stronger mentally to be who i am today right wow right right i love how you can just do that because it's it's so important to follow you know your religion um or some something that you believe in right it doesn't always have to be a a religion but we believe in god as well and i think that there's challenges that that are purposely set up in in the roadway to where we want to be so that we become stronger and mm-hmm. i think like even not having your father and again i'm over here trying to like understand <laughs> yeah, yeah. your your, your <laughs> yes, history yes, right. but i'm just starting to think to myself like all right so tommy went through those type of turmoils when he was younger look at him now like a shining star in social media right. building this business yes and it's it's crazy when you look back and you even you, you know you're throwing out the word of god saying hey god's got my back and your back right. and that's really really important to know that you still have that crucial part of your life saying that yeah. it's not all about me it's about god and right. at the same time, he's leveling you up to make yeah. you better and fortify you, you know? Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah, powerful, you know, powerful. powerful. Um, and then obviously, you know, um, you break what well, we wanted to like, you know, let the audience know the reason why we like going 
back into these questions because for me, we're so inspired by you. We're some of your fans, you know what I mean? Yeah. Again, so you're one of the, the people that gets us to the gym in the morning because of your fitness. We're like, oh, let's be fit. Too. We're not like, look at this dude. You like, know, what the right? hell we need exactly, to go? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And so these type of things, again. We should go know. together. I'm let's down. Go. No, let's, I'm let's, so let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We need to go. I, I'll, I'll can, I can help you guys like, <laughs> Yes, you know, yes, get us I'm to a, your level. Yeah, for anyone who's watching this, I'm working on a course. If you guys want to get fit like me, it's coming. Let's you know? go. Okay, we're signing up that. for that course, <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah. It's something that we need. And yeah. it, you but know, I got I'm, you guys. I'm, I'm down. I'm trying to be down. a little bit more um, yeah. than the Instagram, so I'm totally yeah. down for that. And, so um, and you know, I would have never known this. Like, I would have never known that, you know, you were bullied in the past. Um, yeah. I think, you know, back in the day, also, one of your posts stated, like, you were, like, skinny or scrawny or something. Yeah. And then like now, you know, again, we're looking at you today and we just it's so amazing to go into your past to see yeah. what you were going through and then how you were able to break out of that. Because, you know, I want you to know, again, we are fans and you do inspire people from your clothing to your fitness to your um, consistency. We were just talking yeah. about that. And I wanted to I wanted to get into that, actually. Um, one of yeah. your main words that you like to, you know, um, preach to people <laughs> yeah. out here is consistency. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about yeah. that? Like. Discipline is what keeps you going. Mm -hmm. I mean, no. Discipline, discipline. No, you know, motivation. That's what I'm too. That's what I'm no, 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 Motivation is what keeps you going, but discipline is, you know, motivation is what gets you started. Dis um, discipline is what keeps you going. And then discipline is by consistency. You got to have mm -hmm. consistency that, that mm -hmm. builds. That's how Amazing. you get success. Like anybody can be motivated. And right. Like, yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Let's go to the gym today. Yeah. Exactly. You know, let's, let's go work out. But then yeah. you, you don't go the next day. Right. Right. Like, it's all right. progress. You got to yeah. build that progress. We're all hyped here about going to the gym and then yeah. we don't show up tomorrow. Then what's what's the use of us giving all this energy? Right. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so definitely, and, definitely. And, and, you know, a lot of a lot of people that are watching this, they they don't understand the life of a. am going to call you an influencer because that's how we understand you right now. Yeah. But I don't think people understand that the life of an influencer, it is another, it's a business, it's a job. Yeah. You have yes. to go out there and perform and it's right. kind of like acting, right? You got to record yourself and it's, and you also have to not be shy. I mean, that's the hardest thing, right? I mean, you're probably used to it now, just camera, mm -hmm. how's it going? You don't right. even care what it is. So I think yeah. one of the biggest attributes you have too, that we've noticed is you don't get embarrassed anymore. I'm sure in the beginning, you're yeah. probably like, God, I don't know if I do, do I need to put a filter or something? Yeah. How do you feel about that? Do you feel like now you're more emotionally less connected to what people have to think about you? Exactly. Yeah. Cause like for me, well, I noticed that like when I started really taking it seriously in 2019, like I was a track athlete. So like, okay. I know I, I wanted to be like a pro athlete. That's how I started my social media journey was like, I want to run pro. Amazing. I want to do this and that. And so like when I was making content with my teammates, like the training my teammates and stuff, they're like talking behind my back and like just made me like it's just like mm -hmm. I got a lot a lot of hate because I was I saw really? I saw like I saw her doing really like my videos are doing well, but then Got I it. was like thrown in a group chat and like they're yeah. talking smack. Wow. And that wow. honestly it hurt me mentally yeah. that like Jeez. I stopped running track. Like I really? stopped wanting to run and oh wow. and then these are people that are on your team. On my team, yeah. Wow. So it just wow. like it was it took a toll to me mentally. Mm -hmm. But then I guess now it made me stronger because mm -hmm. now I'm like, you know, like I don't really care what people Mm -hmm. I realize that the people when you're succeeding, they're jealous. Right. So if you're not if you're not winning, mm -hmm. people are there's no reason for people to be hating or jealous because mm -hmm. they're still stuck at where they're at. So wow. true. Yeah, and I love so that true. comment because there's so many things. We're nowhere near your area of influence. Yeah. We're in real estate and mortgage and stuff. Mm -hmm. We're trying a little bit, so a little bit of a few things here to build our business. But yeah. to know that you get messages from people saying, like, you know, we, we get messages all the time saying like you, whatever weird stuff, and you're like, damn, like yeah. you really are offended by the stuff or yeah. you you are not happy with your life and it's interesting to hear people's perspective of what you post yeah but yet they still follow you and they're active yeah. on your content yeah. yet they're right. saying a lot of trash right yeah. so it's, yeah it's funny to see that like high, the haters right? yeah like the haters right you need it you need yeah. it you need it right yeah. so and a lot of people like high-end wealthy very very wealthy people actually tell you like you need haters to build a business because it helps you grow not that you're asking for it but it just comes naturally in time yeah. um how do you feel about that do you feel like you've do you have enough haters? Do you want more? How do you I feel want about more that? haters? You want more haters? Because like, right. I'm Guys. sometimes I'm such a such a positive guy. Like there's really no yeah. reason to hate. But I feel like right, right. I just, I have to do more things that get people mm -hmm. to. And that's mm -hmm. I'm on that like level. I'm trying to figure out what I can do because I feel <laughs> yes. like I, I want to start being more controversial about okay. certain things without trying to get canceled. I feel like that's what I need to do. Because right, like, for example, right. like Sneeko, for example, mm -hmm. and the AT, the go Tate, you know, like uh -huh, he like uh -huh. you know like. Right. They're the most hated, you yes, know, right, by, right. by mainstream and mm -hmm. they spoke the truth, like the truth right. and boom, you know. Right, right, right. So, so I won't be able to spread truth without getting canceled, you know. Right, okay. So I still I like have that. a platform and I like be able to I be like on that. everything. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Since we're talking about social media, um, what would you say would be one of your 
most viral videos that you're like, wow, I was stunned when I woke up in the morning. And yeah. It was just like a dream. My high school. Okay. For, so ever since I was a kid, you know, like I wanted to make a name for myself because people <laughs> bullied me, right? Like yeah. I felt like I was like a nobody, right? Like I wasn't, you know, I wanted to be popular and this and yeah. that. Yeah. So the video for me was when I was in high school, like wanting to like be a pro, pro athlete, you know, like there's like a hall of fame at my high school. And so for me, it was like, yeah, I want to be able to leave a legacy or something, you know? Amazing. Wow. Amazing. I, know I, I know all you guys in here who have it. If you guys have that, have big dreams, but when you have big dreams, and you work towards it and it's God's plan, it'll, it'll happen, you know? Right. Because yes. it happened for me. Um, I filmed the video, like nobody cares, okay. motivational video saying uh -huh. that like, you know, this was my high school. I went here, just leaving my legacy in my high school. And that video blew up and got nine, like nine million views on oh my TikTok. God. Wow. Got millions on, like three million on Facebook. No um, way. Powerful. Blew wow. up everywhere. And then oh now I'm like a, like a local yeah. like celebrity mm -hmm. in my yeah. area. People like <laughs> right. know me, you know? Yeah, yeah, not yeah. even local, like all over. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm yeah. really known to like, I walk in the high uh -huh. school, people know who I am. No you know? way. Wow, so that wow. is so That's cool. So epic, and you were yeah. literally just saying, "This is I want to leave a legacy here." Yeah. So something like, very simple. You were just being yourself. Yeah. And by being yourself, that video you posted it in nine million views later, nine million plus, because it's like so many different platforms. Yeah. Right. That's Reposted so from other people's pages, like wow. so good. Yeah, it's, oh it's crazy. Yeah. And, and you know what? You, you what you provide to a lot of younger people is that you can pretty much do anything you want, have fun with it whether people like it or whether they don't. Because in life, you're going to go through all these trials and tribulations anyways. People are going to love you or hate you or this or have a complete middle side, right? And maybe they don't care or they do care, right? But yeah. you're providing people a new avenue of being able to either create wealth, create uh, information, you know, maybe another side of people's life. Like yeah. they're talking about the bullying thing. Like people don't know that it's not easy to wear your shoes anymore. Right. Like maybe back then, like people have to realize, hey, I was bullied before. Mm -hmm. I mean, I actually was, and you were bullied before mm -hmm. too. And wow. there's people being bullied right now that they right. don't understand, like, why is it happening to me? And in it's reality, a it's, it's a good, good thing, thing, right? It's, it's like, happening it's, for yeah. them, right? Yeah, because right, right, which is amazing. Like, <laughs> it's amazing. I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's hard so, to like. We're not promoting that. We're, yeah, we're, yeah, we're not promoting bullying, yeah, yeah, bullying yeah, yeah. but it's like you need to experience pain. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. So if, if you're, you're a bully, there yeah. and you're getting bullied, yeah. it's not. We're not like, yeah, but it's like you have to go through these hard times to be a better person, like yourself. Again, we yeah. would have never known you went through all this. We look at you on social media, and again, we're just like, oh my gosh, like we want to be fit like that, we want to dress like that, we want to influence like that. And then again, yeah. when you really hear the true stories, we're like, well, OK, he didn't just blow up like out of nothing. Like he had to truly push yourself to be in sports. You know, you had to right. change your whole way of doing things. Yeah. And then at one point you were you had that confidence enough to say, OK, now I'm going to yeah. do my video. And and I want to go back to that as well. So when you hit these views, like mm -hmm. what, what did you think when you were like, I'm viral? Like, did it change you? Were you like, do I need to do something with this now? I just know I'm on the right track. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm still not know where I want to be, Got it. but I know that's like, I'm doing the right things. Like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't know if you guys believe in numerology, but I see like angel numbers. Yes, like me for too. me, I believe okay. it's like a sign from like, it's I, God talking like you're doing I, the right, right steps, you know, like uh, you're that. making the right moves. And yeah. 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 I think in the last three days I saw like 11 of them, like five times or something yeah, and I was just yeah, like, it's like god talking to you yeah. i really believe that yeah. you know, i'm like and then and then we met you so you know that's how you know like yeah like yeah. god like you're doing the right thing you know? right right yeah and i believe in so those cool. I'm, I'm here with you right now because exactly. of a friend justin you know like right. yeah. mindset guy like yeah oh my god. I, I made certain moves and these yes. moves made me become friends with justin and because now i'm friends with justin you got on your podcast right. now i'm on your podcast yeah you know what i mean that's how that's how life works and justin came on our podcast through that's one right. of our friends that's so like, right. yeah. it was like a connection to connection. all these collaborations just, like they yeah. they go somewhere else it's so cool mm -hmm. yeah it's exactly insane. so yes. so your name tommy then buey right yes so where's that coming from where, where's that name originally from well, i mean tommy's could be I, anywhere i'm, I'm vietnamese okay, right? that's so, what trying okay to get the word ten mm -hmm. is honesty oh, ten, wow. that my okay. parents like it's weird how like vietnamese my mom structured the names okay. like my dad's name was like alan thai bui so my name is Tan. So when you put my dad's name, my name together, the Vietnamese name, Tan Thai means success. Oh, oh wow. So Tan wow. means honesty, but yeah. Okay, like okay. The, what you say, it means success. Would you say you're pretty uh, honest? I'm a very honest person. I like that. I don't I, I don't that. like like being <laughs> fake. I want to be yeah. as real as possible. That's why right. I'm able to be who I am in my videos. Because mm. I it's me being vulnerable and being real with right. the world. Right, yeah. That's and so in good. those videos, you know, me and Eli were watching these and we're just like, oh my gosh, like mm -hmm. you have so much. 
you're so brave, you know, if I think that's yeah. the word because yeah. we also have started doing some videos where we go up to individuals. Let's do it together. You know, let's do let's, it. Let's, let's do it. it. I'm down. Right. We're doing it right let's now. Do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's go. Nobody cares about you. We can leave this podcast and go out to Rodeo Drive and make a new friend. But I am telling you, we are out there and I'm like full of sweat. Like I'm having a panic attack. Like my heart's beating so fast. Like I'm telling my cameraman, like, not even trying to be rude, but I'm like, but like, hurry up because there's yeah. people like, so like, how do you like deal with this yeah. being so brave? Because again, I have to be honest. I, when I go out there, it's not that easy. It's intention for me and my intention. I'm honest, right? So my intention is like, why am I doing this? Okay. So before you do something, right? Think about intention. Is it a bad intention or a good intention? Mm -hmm. So that's why like, you shouldn't really have that anxiety. Like, why is there, why do you have anxiety? Like, are you mm -hmm. doing something bad? Are you, are you harming anyone? Right. No. Just go do it. You know, mm -hmm. like if if you're gonna make yeah. that person's days better by you doing taking that action, you're actually changing that person's life. Wow. Just something small like, oh, nice shoes or like mm -hmm. your hair looks nice. Like yes. I like I like your hair. Right, it's just, right, it's yeah. nice. It's like Thank I like you. how it matches the suit. Mm -hmm. Like it's compliments, right? It's just like I know a lot of people have that sh like just that fear yes. of like what people will think when they right. approach a stranger, be like, right. you know, like, oh, the strangers don't think badly oh, yeah. and not mm -hmm. highly of me, right? right? So when you just, you know, just remove that frame of like just knowing your the thing is you gotta know yourself, right? For okay. me, I know myself. Got I know it. I know my value. I know that what I can bring to the table. Yes. Like my intentions are pure and good. Mm -hmm. For for you guys to see somebody, you guys are great people. You guys are really good. You thank have good you, energy. So you. like thank you're just you. giving thank that you. portraying mm -hmm. the energy of somebody yes. make, and thank making you. their day better. Right. And I think you I said it right yeah. there. We're like I'm like worried about what the individuals are gonna think. So I just yeah. go into panic mode. But then when we look at what we're doing, we're really trying to just like help people again. Mm -hmm. We're giving yeah. away, uh, exactly. you know, we're like successful. Yes, they're successful. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And thank our you. last video, we dressed somebody, uh, you know, it was like $700 just to dress them alone. Made their day you better. Know? Yeah. Right. And, and we actually did pay for it, by the yes, way. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you yeah. know, they walked out of the store with new shoes, pants, jacket, coat, uh, glasses. We made, them, we made them feel like gold. But again, yeah. so, yeah. um, you know, we had good intentions. But even that day, I still was so stressed out, like you were saying, that anxiety. But just you being here today, you just mentored me and anybody who's watching. You know yeah. what I mean? You just have to have that intention. Know what you're doing. Know it's a good thing. And who really are you bothering, right? And I'm yeah. never bothering anybody. If anything, I'm trying to help somebody. But I have that thing locked in my head that, oh, like I'm bothering somebody. But I think you just unlocked that right now. But some people don't want to be helped. Some yeah. people are stubborn, so you gotta oh be aware God. of that. Like you, right. may, you may be trying to help and thinking is a good thing, but to them is like I don't want to be helped. I want to do it on my own. Right. Some people right. need to learn so right. that like in order for you to move forward in life, you need to have help. Right. Like when you have someone, I, I saw a quote, but something about like going far, like with, with help you can go far or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. So sometimes people don't know that, you know. Mm -hmm. Very true. Very yeah. true. No, that literally stopped yeah. me in my tracks because we have been running into a lot of individuals who don't want that help. Right. I was speaking to one of my mentors the other yeah. day, um, Alex Morton. He has, you know, he mentors people all around the world. And yeah. I asked him the same question and he said exactly what you just said. You know, he is a millionaire and he's like, sometimes you have to cut them off because sometimes people do not want to be helped. And, and I was just like, kind of, I had to sit there and think about it because I'm like, yeah. how could people not want to be helped? But it's really true. Some people just don't want it. You know, and, and yeah. I've been reading this book called The Power from it's if it, it manifests directly from all the books from like The Secret. I'm, I'm sure you've read one of those books before. I want to I, I want to read that it's book. Okay, read it, dude. Yeah, it has like so many it has so many different yeah. parts of it, mm -hmm. and it really tells you things about believing in good energy and good spirits, manifesting yeah. positivity. And as yeah. long as you allow that to come in, that's what you receive. Versus like if you're always like looking out for something bad or you can't wait for something bad to happen to somebody, then it's gonna come back to you the yeah. same way you're giving it out. So it's so important that you just said that like some people don't want it. So therefore those people that don't want, they already have this wall on them and yeah. they don't want to be entertained by whatever, whether it's you, whether it's even in their own life. But most people actually that we went up to, mm -hmm. they were pretty content. Like, Oh, what, what do you want to talk to me yeah. about? What, what's going actually, on? What, what's we were, in that box? We were fooling ourselves thinking yeah. that like, okay, the world is like this crazy, which yeah, is the world's yeah, crazy. It, the world is a very crazy it's place. It's really yes, crazy. Yes, 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 but yes. for the majority of it, like most of the people were 90% of the people were amazing. Yeah. And the whole time I was like, okay, like a hundred percent of the people are going to be like crazy or rude to me or whatever, or they're not going to like me. And again, yeah, you have to break out of that shell kind of like when you did in the past and yeah. you kind of yeah. just broke our shell a little bit. Not going to lie. I know. Same, live, same. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like I started to yeah. live the, the podcast kind of yeah. be like, you know, just okay. get it. You know, I'm like, let's go. Let's go. I'm comfortable. More comfortable. Yeah, I, love that. I love that. I love that. So going a little deeper. No. So you are obviously 26 and you're an influencer, but when you grew up, is this what you wanted to do? 
I mean, I always wanted to make a name for myself. So like, Love you know, that. just wanted to like, it's crazy. Like I want to be like a famous singer when I was like 12 oh, yeah. okay, years old. I want to okay. be like, you know, Justin Amazing. Bieber, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love it. So As a matter of fact, Justin Bieber. Lip. Justin yeah. Bieber's restaurant is actually across the street. Oh, so wow. not his restaurant, but they actually named a play after yeah. him um, because yes. Yes, that's he right. frequents the restaurant so much that wow. literally they named a plate after him. And it's so crazy that you mentioned him too. He was uh, in ballet in front of our office here where we're sitting last week. And he, you know, he was just in the same area. So again, wow. good energies, you know yeah. what I mean? Like all Attract around these. I've, you know, this is how it's the traction. Exactly. Like a lot of traction. You know? Yeah, exactly. definitely. And so yeah. like when you say singer, were you... Uh, somebody who was already like practicing singing, were you already into it, or it was just more of like a vision? I mean, it's a vision. Like yes. I, I came. I mean, I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. I live like I have like my my parents can't really afford to take me to like you know like classes and stuff. Yeah, so I just yes. do wh what I can. You know, definitely, definitely. But it's like yeah. it's a dream I had. I love that. But now, love that. now I'm in a position where if I wanted to, I can take singing classes and you know yes, I can, can yes. improve. Like people told me, I have a decent, good amazing, voice. Amazing, you know? amazing. And even if you don't, you're already such an influencer. You know, I I believe some of these. Um, artists, you know, they have their songs and it's influential, you know, uh, nowadays you don't have to be, you know, somebody who, who releases CDs or yeah. songs or anything like that. Yeah. Now you can be somebody like you who's influential. It teaches people about consistency or your past life and how you change today. And yeah. sometimes that's even more powerful than some of these artists. You know what I right. mean? So yeah. it's amazing what you've accomplished and how you're here today Thank doing you. this. And you're inspiring right. us too. I want you to know that. I'm glad. You know, glad. For and, sure. and you know what, to add to it, to that about the influencing part is, when you go back and realize what business is all about, it's about knowing people, people knowing you, collaborating, just like we're collaborating right now. And if you guys are building a business and you want to build it and make it wealthier and, and build on something, it's so important to connect with so many people because it's kind of like television, right? Nobody really watches it anymore. They're more on YouTube or social media, yeah. but it's kind of like television in the old days where you kind of understand and trust the person on the other side. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you're watching Justin Bieber, throwing out an MTV video, yeah, yeah, yeah. you kind of trust the guy. You're like, oh, he's a singer. Right. I trust it, right? Just yeah. like you're watching the newscaster, right? You trust the guy giving out the news. Right. So it's kind of like you on the other side. You're recording yourself doing your yeah. you know, fun, th fun things, whatever it is that you're doing. Now you become reputable. Right. You become a brand. Right. right? Kind of exactly. like Eli Mike, our brand. Mm -hmm. Tommy Tambio is a, a yes, brand. Love so this. when you brand yourself, now you're something somebody wants. Like, okay, how do I get involved with Tommy mm -hmm. or Eli Mike? Because now I want to see how I can get their faces that are looking at you yeah part of whatever that business structure is so i think like what you know you're building on brand deals and stuff like that people need to know that there's options it's not just a resume go to work yeah. nine to five and you're stuck there you actually can do some crazy things with where's my phone oh i don't have my phone on me <laughs> but with your phone right, right. you know you yeah. can do crazy things with your phone besides scrolling right yeah you, can do produce. Crazy things. you gotta produce not consume yes there you go exactly. perfect yeah. great word yes. so you could produce and do so much with that at $0. It's free. It's literally free. I mean, obviously you pay the fee for the phone, but but in essence, it's free. And you can become a millionaire, maybe even a billionaire doing it. It's crazy, you know? So I've, I'm fascinated by that. There's so much more to you than just a TikTok. You know, yeah, right? it's so much. Definitely. And we're, yeah. and we're also going to get a little bit more deep because you mentioned it a, a second ago. But, uh, you know, uh, me and Eli come from a family where maybe we don't have we didn't have that much money. And then Same, again. Yeah. Right. And that's that was was going to be my question. You know, how um, was your upbringing? You said it wasn't where, you know, it, it wasn't a rich upbringing. Is that correct? Yeah, it wasn't. I mean, for me, like I'm really thankful for, for example, like being on a sports team, right? Like my school actually like funded like wow. for me and so i was like on track wow. team for free that's mm -hmm. like football team for free like wow. that was you know amazing yeah so for me that's why my goal is i want to become very successful yes. i can kind of donate and give back right. to my you know just Love school that. shoes this yes. I, I got free shoes on the school because i couldn't afford shoes right my mom right. Didn't, wow. couldn't buy me shoes yeah so. no i feel you on that and and probably up until about fourth grade i was in the same level there's places where you can go and they give you like a comb and they give yeah. you a pair of shoes and a jacket that was used. <laughs> so crazy. Yeah. But again, what's really a, an amazing is that we're all sitting here today on Rodeo driving one of the most know, famous, Rodeo. like literally yeah. one of the most famous cities in the whole world. But we were all individuals where we had to have our schools give us shoes or we had to, we, I mean, literally they're giving me toothpaste because that's what like well, level we were in. Add free chocolate milk, you know? <laughs> <laughs> same, same, same. Let's go. Hey, that was one of the best. That was the best, was best chocolate best. milk ever Yeah, too. honestly. It's free. Yeah. The one in the little bag. <laughs> the, whole, like, yeah. oh, the cart is back in the oh, day. Okay, me. mine were in like a plastic yeah. bag. But oh, that's, anyway. that's pretty Anyways. depressing. Yeah. But um, so then, you know, again, it's, it's amazing for you to sit here today and be so resilient, you know, 
Um, Because many people that are watching you, they see the million followers. Um, They see the clothing. They see mm-hmm. the brand deals that you're connected with. And some people, again, I have it's to just the beginning. It's just, I, right. I'm, I'm just right. starting off, you know, mm-hmm, like, it's mm-hmm. just, it's, you guys are seeing like the, just barely the start of it. Like That's so amazing. Yeah. And, um, um, do you, are you able to like say some, I know actually some of the major brand deals you're with, um, they're even connected with famous celebrities like Kylie Jenner. And yeah. you know, how does that feel to get that call one day? You've been working so hard, you've been posting your videos and then yeah. one day you get that call and they're like, Hey, can you be an ambassador? Can you be somebody to represent this type of, yeah. let's say mm-hmm. this drink? Um, how does it feel when you get that call? Because you know, that I mean, takes a lot of hard work, you know? Right. Like, yeah. It's, right. It's, but Almost like yeah. you deserve it because of all the hard work you yeah. put in, right? Love that. Exactly. Because we get yeah. some of these calls too sometimes and um, we're so just like, pitch proud. me, what's going on? You know, it's exciting, yeah. but then at the same yeah. time, you're like, you know, we put in so much work, um, we deserve this. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, that's kind of the feeling that we get. And um, if you're not getting that feeling, then... You gotta do more. You gotta, yes. you gotta grind. You gotta, for me, I'm mm-hmm. in a position where like, I still, I want to grind more. I'm not where, I'm not satisfied, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, definitely. Yeah, I need to make, you know, like, mm-hmm. I want to be able to afford, like, a Rodeo Drive. You okay, know? there you go, there you go, yes, love it, I want to be it. able to take my girl out on, yeah. a, on a date here, right. you know? Let's I mean, go. Yes, yes, you know? yes exactly. You will. We're so all I'm still go. on the come up, you know? There you, so, go. you know, yeah, like, I'm go. not, you know? Right, well, I'm at the Beverly Hills Hotel, you know? Are you, know? you with a girl right now, or? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm talking to mm-hmm. some, you know? Okay, go, okay, so he's off limits for now, you know? No, no, I'm good, I'm good. I'm off limits, I'm talking. I'm free, I'm free right now. Oh, you are free, I'm free, yeah. I'm not, like, tied down, you know? Right. Like right. I'm, I'm, I'm like yeah. Scarlett. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, 26, right? Yeah, 26. So, you know, you yeah, have yeah. To I'm live still young. Life. I'm still very right, young. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, being that you're young, obviously you have yeah. a big future ahead of you. So let's go even deeper into the roots of maybe things that have challenged you even more than just having your parents separated. Mm-hmm. So has there been a time in your life? Your short life, because you, you haven't been alive that long. I think 26 is very young. I'm still young. Yeah, you're yeah, like a baby still. So has there been a time where you just fell? on the floor, rock bottom, no one was there to help you. You had to do it all on your own. And you were like, I'm stuck. I don't think I can escape this horrible moment in my life. Yeah. I don't know if, if it's like the topic to talk about this on this <laughs> It could be, man, if you're comfortable open, with it. But I, I mean, it, everyone has like different beliefs and mindset, okay. you know, but I guess I can say like, you know, like the COVID was like, a, was a very hard yes. moment for a lot of us. Yes, you know? it really for was. For me, it was one of the hardest. Got moments. it. It was like, yeah, because, you know, yeah. I live with my mom. Okay. And, you know, like, like you know, how important, like, the, the jab was, you know, like, for me. Right. Like, I, I just know that for me, like, I didn't want to get it. it. So, it. you know, I put myself in a very tough position. Like, my whole family all got it. I all oh, got jab. Oh and I'm like, so I just, like, I made, because like, my mom takes care of my grandma. So, like, my, my mom was, like, worried that, like, I can get my grandma sick and then she right. passed. So, right. I basically trapped myself, sheltered myself from home. I did not even leave the house. I just oh my stuck there for like, it's really like, wow. I was like a hermit, you know, that's oh, like, wow. that was like the oh, toughest wow. moment of my life of being a hermit and just like, it's going through it, you know? Wow. Like, and so this, you locked yourself away and like, wow. were you in the house still with your grandma? No, no, I was at home. Oh, my, okay. my, my mom would drive, like would like Got go to it. my grandma's okay, and take care okay. of her. I basically uh-huh. stopped doing what I love, like social wow. media. Like I had to stop uh-huh. TikTok, I had to mm-hmm. stop like, Right. My, I had a broken phone too. My phone is broken. Oh so my like goodness. I like I wasn't I was in crypto, but <laughs> mm-hmm. I basically sold my car, put all my money into crypto. <laughs> like, so okay, I just like basically you know, like just literally trapped at yeah. home, did nothing. Everybody wow. see my friends go out and like yeah. basically ghosted everyone. Mm-hmm. Had basically like yeah. Wow, yeah, definitely. Wow. And and locking yeah. yourself away could be one of the hardest things ever because there's Jeez. literally nobody to talk to no help you're it's literally all you and then this wasn't something where it was a couple of weeks it's like went on for years this recently too like yeah. a couple of years ago you know, I think yeah we're probably still in it i don't even know <laughs> i think there's a COVID out there again at I some mean? level some yeah time. but so okay yeah. okay so then how did you break that spell of you being locked away like that and being a hermit because a lot of people yeah. were not able to break I long hair spell. like my hair was like no way <laughs> like oh my god hair. i can't we'll have to throw a photo if he's okay yeah yeah i'm sure you have a photo i mean i'll show you guys later yeah, 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 yeah. i was like i just like i look horrible no oh horrible it wasn't horrible. good it was, it was a good long hair it was like i would not pull any girls you know my confidence my confidence gonna be a poor girl i go i go up to a girl at the grocery store hey what's up my name is oh dang she like all creep back like oh, creeper. Shoot. Yeah. Wow, that's oh my crazy. God. But, but you yeah. know what? But things like this make you better and they make you mm-hmm. stronger. Like yeah. you're, you're sitting here in Rodeo with all this confidence. As much mm-hmm. as you might think like 
Am I on a podcast? Where are they all? This is crazy. Yeah. You're doing it on your own. No yeah. one's telling you what you're doing. You're sophisticating yourself every single level of the day. All so, the bad things that have happened that made you stronger. It's crazy. Yeah. So then how did you break that spell though? And it was crazy. I haven't like shared this yet. Like oh, you guys are one you. of the few people I share oh this God. with. Like, like so my, 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 my audience let me know about this. Like this is something that I'm like, I'm working on like content wise to be able to deliver it without mm -hmm. like getting canceled. Cause like, Got I know it. if you were to speak <gasps> about the subject, Got you it. could. So like no one yes. really knows about this. This Got is it. something that I know that like will work, will actually give me like prove my engagement because people will get to know like, my story right. of like, yes. what made me, this is what actually made me, me like of me course. going through like this, mm. that moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got it. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out how to deliver it in content form, Got it. Got like it. cautiously. So I'm, yes. I'm just, just gonna be being vulnerable and being like, okay. I know like a that. lot of Thank people in LA yes. are like, you know, like, <laughs> right. you know, that, 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 oh, yeah. that, that idea of someone who is, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you say um, it and they're like, what? You know, so I'm trying to try to deliver the message, like, Got you know. It. Love it. Yeah. Oh, you'll get okay. it. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll know the right time to say it. And, right. and, when and again, so, obviously, you know, it's been the years. Audience... It's been, I've just yeah. been holding this back and I just right. like, I want to make this as content. Like, this there is how go. I became who I am. You know? Wow. I love that. I can't wait to like hear the full story. I know we only yeah. have so much time in here, but yeah. the audience, if um, you're watching now, did you see how he said cautiously? I mean, literally, the way you even explained it to us, when it was very right. cautious <laughs> because, you know, we all know yeah. that one sure, like, word. Yeah. yeah. yeah and, one and word LA is like very, know. like, you know, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. that's inspiring to know that you were able to break out of that. And I know soon we're going to hear that story. Um, yeah. I think we're going to be the first ones to watch it because I need to we hear will. this. I need to hear this yeah. part. But, but you know, uh, what's so cool about what you said, as much as it's all, all already nerve-wracking to say, like, darn, I want to be cautious. There's so many people, your followers, our followers, that are just in the same boat. They're all like, yeah. I don't know how to tell somebody this. I don't know how, mm. how it's going to come out correctly. I don't know exactly, if I should. Yeah. Some people never even say their inner dark secrets or their problems inside yeah. to the public because they don't want to be vulnerable or get... Uh, cast, or how do you call it? Uh, cast it away yeah. from family members because they feel like, wow, like what what's going on here? Yeah. You know, so it's very bold to for you to be vulnerable at a yeah. young age because there's so much more in life that you can have another situation happen where you can be like, all right, down, like something really bad happened, and yeah. how do I how do I get out of it? Yeah. So I, in in that thing with COVID, you kind of self jailed yourself. In this in in this box, yeah, basically, you know what I mean. Literally, I can already. I'm literally yeah. visualizing yeah, the box you're in, I'm visualizing and, yeah. and I can see you with hair sitting there eating like a cannibal, like yeah. a monster, wow, like, a cannibal, <laughs> not a cannibal. I'm sorry, I'm too, yeah, an animal. Yeah, sorry, I'm an animal, an animal, an animal. Yeah, mom, mom taking right. care of me. There you go. Oh yeah, right. right. No forks, no spoons, yeah. nothing. Oh my yeah. god. But you know what? But it made you better. It made me better. Right. Wearing a white jacket on Rodeo. I mean, you look literally super cool. Yeah. But. I think okay, you, yeah. I think you, you know, uh, I told you this earlier, you, you make us be so inspired. You inspire so many people out there, millions, literally. Yeah. What could you give um, our audience, like, um, some advice on how to be more like you, where you can get out there and, and start being influential? Just do, like, try to be a better you every day. You mm -hmm. know, do something mm -hmm. that you don't typically do, right? Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of people just do things repetitively, you know, right. it's like being consistent. Yes. But like, gotta be able to break the box, like okay. break out of like, you know, like the, the, the word, the matrix, it's kind of yes. like you gotta break step the out of like your comfort zone, you know, like approach that stranger. You see a cute girl, like, you know, I wish I, if I was able to tell my younger self, I see yeah. a cute girl, just go up and, and then you just learn from how to improve, Amazing. Okay, you know, okay. like, a, you know, yeah. Use these tips. Yeah, use these and tips. like, we're all human. Like, yeah. don't exactly. think of someone like being, you know, just, mm. Just treat everyone like you know the yeah. same and re respect you know love that love that. so so your style let's talk about it i mean so is i'm this... working on it. i'm still working on it and <laughs> you know i mean like yeah i re i'm blessed i recently got like became friends with like asher and like amazing. thomas and yes. cool people and yeah and just i just <laughs> their style's amazing their style's well. really so nice. not yeah. yeah yeah so i'm style. just improving my i want to improve my look so i can attract <laughs> more and you know okay and, love it love yeah. it okay, okay yeah we were we, we were going to a store once when we were recording content we're all looking at the clothes like does Asher shop in here? Because <laughs> like, it was it always was like really baggy cool clothes. big clothes. It was really cool. And clothes. we're like, yeah. I don't know if we can wear this anymore because we're always in suits and podcasts yeah. and real estate. I'm down. I'm like, I'll wear it. Can but you imagine how we look? It's just we're always, yeah, we're always dressed up. Yeah. You know, turning the you're, key. You're a professionalist. You're a professional. You know, you, you, you a gotta, professional is different. Yeah. Yeah. You got to adapt to your profession. Right. Depending yeah. on different environments, mm -hmm. you know. But like you said a, a little bit ago, always be yourself. Yes. And so that's why we like to throw in the purple hair or the little medallions or the flowers or, you know, we like to be different. And different as in being ourselves. Be, like I said. can 
I can Ellie, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, My, exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I, th- exactly. I think that's so cool because honestly, like we are creating our own brand and people, you guys should do the same thing, like separate yourself, get out of the comfort zone because there's so many different methods of how you can just become like a better version every single year. Yeah. Because next you're year- still you're still alive. Yeah, yeah. And you're mm-hmm. still alive. Oh my God, especially that. So, yeah. all right. So you're influencing, another, I got another question for you. So you're influencing right now. You're obviously lo- looking to get viral. Uh, you already been viral. What is the next thing that you're looking forward to in your life? Like, would you have something set in stone yeah. or something that you're in motion with? I want to be able to build a Justin mindset. He's been pushing me to start my course, the confidence course. I yes. can actually like, yeah, like I can do really well for myself where I yeah. can not, not have to worry about money no more. Like right. my okay. course itself is, is actually being myself and just yes. like helping people become better versions of themselves mm-hmm. and actually making money off of that, you know? Amazing, wow. Fantastic. Amazing. Wow. And so do you have kind of like... Um, I'm working a, on it. Yeah. Right. I, I I don't want to just sell something like, you know, I want to make sure that's good, you know, like, right, right. Like, genuine involved, and like, you genuine. know, like actually helping, like yes. providing the right, you know, right. I'm right. just so busy that I haven't had right. time to like, you know, put it all together. But the thing Definitely. is, I want to tell my story first. I want people to know me because a lot of people just know me like confident. Right. So like, yes. I don't want to just sell stuff. Okay. Yeah. He's right. confident, but like, right. I want people to know who is Tommy Bowie before mm. I sell the confidence. Mm. Right. Right. That. No. Yeah, definitely. And that's yeah. why I'm so happy that you're on here today because again, I we really got to get to know you and before it's it's, again when the outsider looking in we're like fitness and clothing and smiles and confidence but it just came with so much you know what I mean so when you provide that to your classes or your people that are going to be working with you it's going to I mean you already changed our lives just sitting here today you know what I mean and we gained the friends so that's always cool and so we were talking I want to give you guys a hug right now oh my (laughs) god right right, 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 let's go (laughs) yeah and um and so we talked about your um one of your worst moments in your life you know what I mean um what about one of your most greatest moments I know getting that viral video must have been amazing but I'm sure there's another moment in your life where you were just like wow this is this is it have you had one of those like awakening moments yet and I know you're pretty young. I mean, I mean, yes, but I just feel like it's not really like, you know, that exciting. You know? Okay, okay. Let's <laughs> but it's hear it. exciting I to know. you. Right. Yeah, it's at, the, like, at the end, it matters. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. like, the certain, like, imagine, like, investing your money and then it does well, you know, like, yes. that's exciting because I'm okay. actually, you know, right. that's actually got me what back on my feet was like, I invested, basically, I was, I was a hermit and mm-hmm. was, I'm, I invested, I worked for this, this project, which mm-hmm. took, which mm-hmm. took off and that's what got me back on my feet. I was free, you know, wow. like, from being oh, trapped. Yeah. And I was able to like, you know, be making content again. I can like, you know, I started traveling. I drove with my dad to meet my team in New York. Oh, wow. So like, wow. Yeah, that's like so a good moment. K- kind of. Um, so your your awe moment was basically going all in mm-hmm. when you were at your, your downness. You went all in. It, it was a success. And then that's when you felt like, wow. But then I have a good heart. Okay. And then the project crashed. <laughs> oh, no. So, but it's, 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 it's going to do really, it's long term is going to do really well. But it's what, okay. it, it got me to buy a car, new car. Like, got it. for me, like, I didn't want to hurt the project because I, right. I was like okay. basically a whale, you know? Right? So yeah. I, just, I just took mm-hmm. what I needed, bought mm-hmm. a new phone, bought a new car, mm-hmm. was able to drive to New York to meet my team, Amazing. travel to, you know, like a lot of huh. states, with oh, my wow. dad. Okay, okay. And I love that. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So it really broke you out of being in that little room. You yeah. Know what got I mean? my car, got myself like okay. life a little situated mm-hmm. together, you know. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And then, you know, your videos, what what are your main focusing on your videos when it comes to influencing? I know most of them are you're doing so many different things. Yeah. Is there one that you really want to like focus on? Just confidence and motivation and just right. like just being like, you know, everyone knows who Tony Robbins, Eric yes. Thomas. I want just want to be like the face of another like mental health. Right. No figure, you know? Definitely. So if you're going to have these mm-hmm. courses, then do you think one day you'll see, do you ever, because we like to envision and when we do, a lot of these things happen. Is that something, is that something yes. you do? Yes. You got to write your goals down. That's yes. what I noticed. Like when you write your goals down and you take action and believe in it and you have the right people around that can help elevate you. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you can't tell your goals to certain people because bad energy can actually prevent it from happening. Right. But with yes. the right people, you tell your goals, they can actually help. They right. have the resources and, you know, be able to help flourish that and you know make that goal become reality amazing so then with one of your visions since you know how to write down your goals and envision um do you see yourself ever being on stage yeah i see myself talking to like like thousands of people on stage yeah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's what i'm that's what i'm manifesting for next like i can see i just yeah, that's yeah. what I see next. But the thing is, I need to have a nice car first, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. No, you don't. I, 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 need, I need to have that, you know, my okay. dream car right now is like, I yeah. want to, I want to, 
yeah, like a Lamborghini Aventador. It's love like, it. You know, okay, something that's it. like makes you seem like yes, this guy is like you know. Okay, okay, love that. <laughs> yeah, love that. Kind of like, you know. <laughs> amazing, amazing. And I only ask that because I truly believe. Yeah. I already envision you being on stage. Yeah. You know, just the conversations we're having. I, you're so interactive mm -hmm. that I already know the audience is just gonna love your energy. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm like envisioning already. You know, when you said those courses, I was like, oh my God, he's it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Yeah. So you guys watch out for quality, those courses. I'm, I'm about quality over quantity. You know what I mean? Yeah, love, yeah. It, love it. Work, quality yes, work. Yes, yeah. Same here, same yeah. here. That's amazing. And mm -hmm. you know what? It, it's it's only going to get better. And, you know, as you get older, yeah, you're going to fail a couple more times. And I think people just need to know that it's meant to happen. And when you fall down, you get, you get back up, you go do it again, or maybe you pivot and you change the way you focus your energy on certain certain substances or ideas yeah. and then you go there so we journal we journal a lot we like to write down our ideas and then we obviously plan and then we execute um depending on where it goes sometimes the execution lacks if we're so focused on other things we have to execute because we do have a a huge array of things that we want to do like podcasting right. is one of many things right. that are just uh, a system to bring in more collaborations yeah which obviously in turn helps our real estate and mortgage just right. like your influence in turns into brand bringing deals. in possibility of getting coaching. brand deals or getting the coaching right right, right. Yeah. so i think you're going to go really far with that i think coaching mm -hmm. is going to going to connect a lot a lot of the dots for people that are mentally weak mm -hmm. that need somebody to kind of guide them and tell them hey look i've been there because i feel yeah. like uh people that preach <clears throat> people that coach uh they've been there they're able to give you information of those avenues that you've taken because they've already walked those shoes. Like you, you can actually say, hey, I've been through this box. Yeah, a lot of people are trapped hair. in a box. A trapped in the box. Yes. And yes. you're not even trapped in the box physically. You were physically and mentally trapped in the box. <laughs> literally, but some literally. people are mentally trapped in the box. No, they're yeah. actually running around loose, working nine to five jobs, but they're mentally trapped. And getting a coach to tell them, hey, there's so many different things you could do with your life and you motivate them you can open up doorways that they never even thought about before, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's huge, man. Like how you are going to do that for other people. Right. Like you should definitely be like, Hey, and you're already doing that for other people on all these platforms. <laughs> and, you know, speaking of social media, what would you say is one of your favorite platforms? Or if you're an influencer out there, what would you tell these influencers focus on this app yeah. and, and if you have a better probability of, you know, if you're a good person, obviously. I mean, before it was TikTok, but on okay. Instagram, I noticed it's really easier to grow on Instagram oh, now really? than it was on TikTok. Okay, right. Okay. But maybe it's like, maybe you make a new TikTok account, you can do well, but mm -hmm. I feel like you just got to post on every, all cross right. platforms, everything. Agreed got 100%. Got yes, like even us, we just recently opened up a second, um, we have like two Instagrams, but we post mm -hmm. every single day, very consistently. We never fail, not posting one single day even if it's just a photo mm -hmm, like, or mm -hmm. to find a photo somewhere i don't, I don't know as long as yeah. it's still quality like you said it's quality over quantity but you still have to post every day and we learned that a yeah. long time ago and justin agrees the same thing like you got to just be in people's faces all day um yeah. just like you you're always doing your reels and people are seeing like who's mm -hmm. this guy you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah. i believe that that's our way of directing people to our business so just like for you it's going to be directing your people to go to your coaching classes you know right. yeah. we can even show you like, we have actually have a website we can even show you if you need a platform for it. Yeah, yeah. we definitely. Yeah, yeah we just like them. Justin's been like trying to help me. I'm just like for me, it's yeah. like, are you gonna start your confidence course <laughs> right. now? Or okay. I'm like, um, no, bro, I got things I gotta take care of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? I know, right? No, yeah, we're working with Justin too. Shout yeah. out mindset. Yeah, and hey. so amazing. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like we're all a group of people who are just again being consistent, being driven, pushing forward, and then now it's starting to prove you know, success, the millions of followers or us having amazing people like you who has millions of followers connect yeah. with us. It's so amazing. This, this little group that we're creating, you know what I mean? And, and the world's so much smaller than you think. I mean, the million followers, the couple of million followers that you have, they all have something that they share with you. They like seeing your story. Like, oh my God, mm -hmm. he is so bold. You're actually really helping people right now. I don't know if you know that, but you're yeah, actually I really get, helping I get, people. I get a lot of messages from people. See what I mean? So, that, so yeah. imagine... I want you to actually even think about it, right, for a second, because I think I actually sit down for a minute after I do a post, and then somebody actually tells me you made you like we actually met somebody at at the, at the Neon Carnival last week, wow. and he actually mm -hmm. came up to us and said, "Did you guys know that because of you, wow. I have now owned real estate and have my own podcast show?" Right, and we yeah, were like, "What?" It was so amazing, yeah, we amazing. Even, and we didn't even know him, right? Yeah. yeah. So those are the things you're impacting to other people it's by taking action. It's by taking yes. action, dude. And you're yeah. doing it at a young age. So imagine when you're 36, 46, 
I mean, you're probably going to be chilling at that point. Like, you're not going to do nothing, but... <laughs> yeah. He'll but be on I'm, stage. He'll be on stage. I'll be on stage. stage right? I'm not going to be, like, doing so right. much, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 like Tommy exactly. Tamui. Yeah. Let's go. Right, right. Exactly. And um, one thing, because you're so confident, you know, you have, you're backed by Jesus, the Lord, you are, um, you know, what, is there anything that still scares you for the future? Um, I just know it's a, it's a spiritual battle that's going on every single day, you know, like, it's nothing we can really do about it just true. just got to be in the front lines and just mm. you know be a spread the light yes. spread, spread the truth yes. a lot of truth like gotta be bold about it that's why I'm, i yes. feel like i'm in a position where i am being confident because i see there's a bigger picture it's like mm-hmm. i can use what i am who i am that god made me to be to be in the front lines and that's so amazing so, so i have a so question amazing. for you what what wow. what has what gave you interest to be on this podcast justin Love what, I love Justin. You know, he, love he's, Justin. he's done a lot for me. And yeah. if he plus, I want to be a more podcast. I get love like, it. You know, yes, spread value. Yes. I mean, he said you're cool people, so I'm like, yeah, I definitely <laughs> got to meet you guys. Right, you know? right. cool. He's got a. He's got yeah. a was he right? Was he right? He was right. Okay. He's 100 right. right. Yeah. So everyone yeah. who's watching this podcast, <laughs> work hard. <laughs> yes. And then hit up Ellie and Mike to be hey, on the hey, podcast. You know, there you go. We love that. They're great people. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So you know, like um, a lot of you guys can read. You know, capture a lot of the stuff that Tommy's talking about. Like you guys can do so much in your life. Just build that motivation. Have confidence. Consistency. You know, and if you want coaching from him, he'll be ready for that really soon. Right. So, you know, so we, we, we're almost ready to finish everything. So a question for you. Um, I don't know if you want to add one more, but um, where do you see yourself in a couple of years? Let's just say you're 26. So by the year of 30, you're 30 years old. Um, have you already forecasted what you believe you're going to be, in, what you're going to look like? Whatever God wants me to be. But for mm-hmm. me, I would love to, you know, like. I'm hanging out with the people that I want to be like, right? Like it's like seeing Thomas Wu, for example, right? He's oh, killing wow. in the game with YouTube. I want to be yes. like, you know, up there with like Danny Duncan and like David Dobrik, you know. Mm. I'm actually fun fact, it's kind of funny. Yeah. Um, at four o'clock, I'm actually meeting up with David Dobrik's like friend. No, Nick, no way. kidding. Nick, That's so, awesome. Like, All right. You know, All right. a small connection it. to yes. actually get in the meet. But it's right. like, yeah. And you're like one relationship away from that. You really are. Yeah, like, yeah exactly. Like and, you know? and meeting up with him. He right. wants to buy this this crypto. I'm trying mm-hmm. to teach him how to buy it. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, wow. you know, so yeah, you. Um, yeah, it. Mr. Mr. Beast. I want to be able right. to get back. You know, yes. my goal, like the reason why I even started the content <clears throat> was out. I was, I was about, about Mr. Beast, and he like I want to be able to be able to be in a good position financially to just yes. go and just buy people you know like yeah just make people's days better right right and, I, and I could do speeches i would be like everybody yes. i'm paying for your groceries today right. you know yes, yes. Like yes. My, exactly. my videos it's like nobody cares right. and do a speech i want to be able to do a speech get on top of the cash oh wow <laughs> yeah. i love that, love that. have you actually done that not yet, yet. Mm-hmm. not yet not yet not yet okay it's yeah. gonna happen because one of the things we did we were we bought somebody their their target shopping cart you know their yeah. family and their kids yeah. and it felt so amazing to do things like that you know what i mean again it takes a lot of work for you to be able to say, hey, I'm going to buy that cart for somebody, you know, and you don't <laughs> yeah. even know what the price is going to be. Yeah. But man, we walked out of that property. I'm sorry, oh, out good. of Target. Target. And we felt so good. Felt Our so hearts, good. I mean, we were just like screaming in the parking, like, wow, we got to help somebody. Even though we're helping people every day, you know, that little extra. Yeah. It feels so good. And like you said, you know, wherever God takes you, as long as you're in the future helping others, you're able to, you know, do that type of thing where you jump on. Yeah, um, <laughs> who knows? Who right, knows? right. You're like, let's buy all the, we, the whole. We have you do it like you're doing it tomorrow already. Like what? he did it. <laughs> love it love That's it. so cool. But guys, thank yeah. you so much for being on this podcast. We appreciate you being on it as well. And honestly, Tommy, you have so much wisdom at your young age. It's insane how many people we've had on the podcast, and every single person has certain individual aspects of how they've grown. And yours is definitely different than many people's. So consider yourself like, like you're a wow factor as an individual yes. human being. Like. God made you perfect in every possible way, and yeah. you gotta you're rolling with the punches, and, and that's super exactly. cool, you know. Definitely, and thank for, you for having us. Yeah. And um, so one thing we like to do is for you to tell our audience where we can find you: TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Um, Even though they know, yeah, find me on Instagram, <laughs> um, TikTok, any other platform at Tommy Tanbui. There yeah. you go. There right you go. here, guys. Right here. There you you won't go. miss him. It's every, I'm on every platform. <laughs> every <you> platform <laughs> consistent too with his name, which is so yeah. important. I think yeah. that's what we learned today. Consistency. Loved it. Yeah. So, so guys, thank you so much, Tommy. Appreciate you. Thank appreciate you. Thank we you made you a so new much. friend, guys. So amazing. Thank yeah. you. Thank you guys you. too. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. But yeah, um, for everyone who's watching this though, if you guys just gotta know that you have purpose. You know, like God made you for a reason. So if you sometimes you're feeling down and you don't feel like, like why am I even here? Just know that God made you for a reason. You just gotta continue to pick yourself up, and just know that God got you.
Love it. You heard it from the coach. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you.